G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a H&H &H Industrial Railway Spike Driver, which is just a fancy way of saying reskinned railway rifle. Now, there's two versions of this mod. One is a standalone version where this thing can coexist with the railway gun, and there's also a version that completely replaces it. And all of the attachments and sounds and stuff, they are exactly the same as the railway gun, although this one has assault rifle animations instead of the standard sort of hopper magazine system that you'd expect out of your steam-powered locomotive type weapons. Now, as you can tell, this thing's sort of a nifbash looking Tesla rifle. You can see mostly through this exit of the uh, barrel there, and there's the uh, handguard here on the Tesla gun that you'd see. Normally, there's also a H&H &H tool symbol, nice little callback to Fallout New Vegas. It's even got an old-school Gauss rifle type crank on the side, which is not functional, but I appreciate its existence. Looks kind of cool. You've got, I believe, some flamer bits there with the uh, valve there connecting the air pressure gauges or whatever this thing has firing. It looks like it's um, using some sort of oxygen thing. And there's also that at the back, which is not a stock, but it can be used as such. Let's get into the attachments. Like the railway gun, you've either got standard or the version that makes it automatic, which doesn't increase its rate of fire all that much. But the DPS will be slightly higher at the cost of... A tiny bit of range, so we'll go with the rap rapid hydraulic receiver. That's not how you spell hydraulic, but we'll let that pass. You can have a long barrel to increase its range and accuracy. Very useful. That's just a Tesla shotgun barrel that has been uh, extended and also made a lot uh, skinnier, for lack of a better term. You can have a recoil compensating stock, a little bit like the... Uh, version on the railway rifle, although this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, unless you're supposed to tuck that under your arm as you're firing, but mm, I'm not really sure about that. The iron sights on this one are actually quite good, because uh, unlike the standard railway rifle, there's a very clear picture of where the thing's going to go. There's just a tiny little pin in the middle of it to have as a reference where you're aiming, but there's also a bunch of sights to this as well, which appear to be, well, that's the railway gun sight right there, but with some extra... Uh, yellow housing around which does look aesthetically pleasing. There's also got the reflex sight from the Tesla rifle and Gauss rifle there as well, which I think is quite nice looking obviously for that's efficiency That's a good option. You have a large bayonet here, which if you've got the long barrel will in cover the long barrel and somehow will reduce your range because balance, but that's there. That's the same as the standard railway gun muzzle which is it's a good looking muzzle but it's unfortunate that we lose range out of it that's actually quite a lot of range so i'd rather just have that extra range and be able to hit targets a little bit easier further out than uh maybe do a bash damage or a bash kill every now and then legendary effect is there if you need it and if you've got the replacer version the only way you're going to be seeing legendary railway guns in your game is that if, unless you've got mods to change this is you got to past the quest where it's no point in return for the railroad, which I believe is underground undercover. So that's when you go inside the institute and then rally the problem, rally all of the sensor, you know, get out of there and go bye-byes. Now, when you've got the explosive projectiles or the uh, plasma enhanced projectiles, it changes the projectile from a spike, which is a slow moving thing, very frustrating to use, into a bullet, which is hit scan, which means it's going to be easier to snipe with. So if you can score yourself one of those versions, I believe they are the best ones. Two shot is also amusing because you fire two spikes instead of one. But that is it for the railway gun, but also the industrial railway spike driver. Let's shoot things. Getting the railway gun it is easy, at least for the standalone version. You'll find it under healing, I suppose, because that's a vanilla game thing. And uh, all you need to do is have Gun Nut Rank 2, Science Rank 2, and those materials, and you can craft one of these for yourself. We'll grab one more. You know, an underutilized feature of a railway gun on any close approximation of such is you can use them to scale walls because you can shoot spikes onto spikes, and there's collision there. That'll actually hold the weight of your character, I guess, and you can use them to scale up walls like so. There we go, got it first try. Yeah, definitely the first take too. Righto, so here we are inside of Gunner's Plaza because taking this thing outside of take on immersive Gunner's Plaza is a death wish. So this is what the spike driver looks like in first person and now in 
third person looks pretty nice. Whether this thing is more aesthetically pleasing to you than the railway gun, that's up to you, but I do quite enjoy the look of this thing even more so than a standard railway gun in the game. Here's the second one that I made, just the semi-auto receiver on this one with a recon scope, which will help me to have a scoped view, but with less tunnel vision than a standard scope, and um, lots of uh, abilities to see how the projectiles fly, which look like that. But, ow, I'm being staggered. Please stop that. Okay, I'm going to stop standing out in the middle of the open here. So, as you may have heard or noticed that we've got a very curious sound when I'm being shot. It's making the sound that's kind of... It's kind of like what the Minecraft thing sound was, and uh, stop staggering me. You're getting a crit in the face. There we go. You would have had a would have had a staggering um, ARX 160 or whatever it is, but as you can tell, the projectiles in this thing are slow. By the time <laughs> by the time I've uh, fired that projectile and hit that turret over there, I've had time to pause the game, or rather not pause the game, whip out my phone, scroll on Facebook, and uh, DM the goth chick, and then I look up, okay, it still doesn't hit, we'll wait a bit longer. So it's very slow. Luckily for me, we still get the occasional sniper knockdown, and I do believe that the railway uh, splacks, these weapons are coded to have slightly more stagger chance, or slightly higher magnitude of staggers, and that guy's stuck behind a thing. I think we pinned his head to that rubble there. Anyways, so you may have heard the clicking sound when I got shot at. That's because I'm utilizing a mod. Because I'm using standard vanilla game stuff, which I don't consider to be very powerful, I've got myself a little bit more protection. Now, I've just whacked a new plate in there. I don't know where it went, but that new plate is going to give me slightly more damage resistance until it is shot and worn out. Now, next task is to try to sneakily kill this gunner. It's only a conscript, so here go down nice and easy, but now we have to deal with uh, this room, which if we can't one-shot these turrets, then we're in a little bit of trouble. We did get one shot there, but that's okay. We've got plenty more life left in this, and it'll actually dynamically change shape if you check on it uh, as you're fighting. So we've been shot a little bit now. And if we had a look at it, it's slightly damaged, and it'll get more damage as we take even more shots. So, how cool is that? So what I should probably do is uh, lean around this corner and try to not get shot. But, mm, the time to kill here, it's uh, not particularly impressive, I must say. So what I'll do instead is, uh, we'll hit up Vats a little bit, and we've just lost our armor plating. We might actually be able to put a spike through that fellow's head. Never mind, that didn't work out. I was hoping to line up a collateral there with a critical, but nope. We'll whack a new plate in. That's that's the third juggernaut plate I've put in, which is the highest tier. I'm dreading that, that bastard with the uh, grenade launcher, so I'm just sort of hanging back a little bit, but I'm kind of putting myself at a big disadvantage in this situation because... That was the grenade launcher right there. Well, that was okay. It all went down fine. It's perfect. So before any of you grab it, don't you think you're getting any ideas? I'll have a quick look at the plate. Never mind. I just replaced it. Probably for the best. I don't think that have much more life left in it. We're still in danger, but we're slipping back into caution here. We'll try to make some use out of this. The DPS on these things, uh, it was never really brilliant. Unless you had some sort of crazy legendary variant, you were never going to get that much out of them. However, the knockdowns are satisfying. And seeing them sort of hurdled and thrown around, even the stuff that I shoot in the background, you can stop that, by the way. I think that's pretty nice. There's more of... It's more of a... Uh, form over function type weapon here. They didn't really make him that competitive until Fallout 76 and now they're just annoying because one person rocks up with one and then uh, 
the event is just ping, 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 ping. You know the scorched earths these days. It's just annoying. So, the sound, I don't think, is that good because I've got negative associations. But it's just vanilla, so whatever. It works for what it is. And the armor plate was broken. The game is kind enough to tell you what it is. So we'll whack a new one in. Maybe throw a couple of legendary effects on this thing because we saw we need to get some extra damage out of this. But yeah. It's just a railway gun with a faster reload essentially. So mileage may vary. I'm not getting a lot of miles per gallon out of this one for me, unfortunately. Alright, so I've augmented my splack drivers with some legendary effects. Not going to tell you which ones, but you can probably figure it out for yourself. So... Mainly the hit scanness of this projectile is going to make it very effective more so at range than anything else Now these guys are only little basic babby raiders compared to the gunners that we just killed, but Yeah using this thing at range so much easier like I can hit that guy Reliably from all the way back here provided my aim is true. So you know, it's pretty helpful. I don't I don't mind that And these gunners, uh, sorry, raiders, are going to be no match for my superior abilities. And there's some shooting going on. I think they're shooting at the Mylert Queen over there, which we can easily destroy in just a couple of shots from back here. Now, I'm pretty sure a high-level gunner is going to have a lot more health and possibly defense than a Mylert Queen anyway. But I think that you get an idea of how strong that is. Nice. There we go. Making some uh, good progress here, I think. Most of these guys could probably just succumb to the explosion of the projectile, especially that one. She had a cool hood. What's that? Oh, just a green hood. I don't know what adds that into the game. But now it's on to the main event, which is going to be that there giant mile lurk crab dude. Now, the whole plan here is just to shoot him in the head as much as possible in vats because we're getting just over a thousand damage and that DPS right there was a very fast amount of DPS compared to what I'm getting now which is great now we've got a backup plan if this guy decides to uh, hit me with his giant claws his um kill claws as they were so it's not the end of the world if he ends up finding us we'll just kill his minion I suppose Nice cartwheel. But it might be... We might just be able to just hold him back all the way from back here and then deal with him just like this. It might be a little bit cheap, but damage is effective. And that's another backflip we made him do. There's just something about these uh, explosive projectiles that seem to throw enemies around a little bit more than what you'd see. Perhaps it's the explosion and the ragdolling happening at the same time, which, you know, if you ragdoll, you just seem to lose all your weight. And that's a... That's a ragdoll in the water there. Is he going to recover from that? I think he did. Good on him. But now we can shoot at this diamond provided by my tactical recon scope to greatly affect... Well, just to hit him. He wouldn't be able to do that with a normal scope. And now, he's going to try to kill me. Ouch. Now, we still have plan B here, which is this one. So, yeah, let's see it, buddy. Just try it. Just try it, mate. See how that works for you. Add some criticals into the mix. And he is out of here, hoping for a quick stagger before he gets me. Actually, never mind. You've just activated my trap card, buddy. Crit. Crit. And jump. <laughs> Just got to get that AP back. Hopefully a stagger. Not quite. But that's almost a full AP bar. Let's go. Okay, wrong gun. I switched back. This is the one I wanted. Uh, ooh, you, don't actually, you can't actually hit them from the back if you've got this lame ass black projector. Oh, there you go. Okay, no more crits from here on out. Let's see if we can finish it off here. This is... This is a final stand. Crit will do it, surely. Yes, alright. The legendary effect on this one was bloodied, if you are... If you're not sure. 
what that was. And I think I'm gonna call it there. So with a couple of legendary effects, this thing definitely end game certified. You can easily use it. Bloody, you probably won't find it under normal means, but you know I use it anyway. Explosive, you can totally find, which would be great. Instigating would be nice too, but a little bit less useful because the projectiles are going to be slow anyway. So if you want to use this, that thing in vats all the time, then recommendable. But otherwise, you always want to get a projectile override. Plasma enhanced, I think, is good as well. So, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, check out the link in the description. It shall be down there. Do I recommend it? Uh, yeah. Will it be staying my load order? Which is my new way of saying, would I recommend it? I don't think this will stay around, but it was fun to rest and mess around with for a little bit. So, you know, if this weapon tickles your fancy, check out the link in the description. It'll be down there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See ya.